welcome back to the channel today we're going to be working on the motorhome we'll install actually the vent leads okay rv vent lead because ours cracked pretty bad from the storm we had hail storm and we'll show you what happened and how it cracked so stay with us guys that's what we're doing today hopefully the video will be helpful and don't forget to subscribe to our main channel world mechanics as well guys that thing is growing crazy fast and we have many builds there and more to come and a big surprise soon as well so climbing on top of the camper now guys so we can go do that repair how are you guys it's super windy today you can check it out and the whole rv is moving everywhere i'm sorry if the quality of the sound is not good even though we're using pretty good equipment check this thing out guys okay that that's what it is so we need to fix that now hell storm did that can you imagine and it was little hell but what happens those get so so sand damaged that they crack they're so fragile look at that you barely touch it and it cracks so we need to replace that thing now so now we need to proceed with the disassembling inside the camper stay with us So we're using the screwdriver now guys, some of them might differ depending on the, on the style and usually you have four, four screws that you will need to remove. Okay, you can see how bright it is up there now because we don't have the lid and there is one screw in each corner, that's what we're trying to show you now. Okay, we're removing the second one, okay. just two more to go. okay last one is out and we just pull that lid out of the way let's see what else we need to do there uh, we need to do remove that one that holds the handle that you turn it to go up and down so we need to remove the screw out of it as well okay just like that a little bit shaky sorry guys and Next, what we will need to do is uh, we need to figure out how to pull that thing down somehow. So if you push towards the inside, both, both ends is going to come off, okay? And that's the screen for, you know, mosquitoes and things like that. Bugs don't go in the camper. So we got that thing out of the way now and it's just the hole. So we will need to install the handle so we can open it all the way up now so we can disconnect that, uh, that linkage there. And let's go up on the roof again, get some tools with us and see if we can remove that thing now. Okay right, guys, so we screwed up a little bit. And some of them are different, you can disconnect it here, this one. You have to remove, there is two screws holding the linkage on the bottom where that handle is to open it and close it. So we'll just remove those from here. We can reach them because, you know, it's a hole, so you can reach it now. And once we remove those, we should be able to pull it up and disconnect it. So let's see how that works now. Some models might have like a pin here holding, some don't. Uh, this one is just sliding out, so uh, it's it's way different this one than the one we've seen but it should be that procedure okay you can see we just disconnected it like that uh, up to 2008 from 1994 i think until 2008 and now all we have to do is just pull it to the side okay like that you can see that's the broken one and now we're gonna get a new one and see what what it looks like Hopefully the video sound is good guys because it's crazy windy now. Okay, so all we have to do now, we need to slide it in the groove. Okay, like that, you can see. And we have to install the linkage. It goes only in a certain spot there, so you need to, you need to just go to the big hole and slide it towards the back. And now we need to feed it through the hole. Yeah, 
Okay, just we need to go underneath first and then connect it there. Okay, it looks good now and all we have to do is install the two screws now. And we can do that from the inside actually so we don't have to try to get them from here. So let's go inside the camper now. Alright guys, so all we are doing now is just installing the screws on the bottom there. Just two screws and uh, it should be fu fully functional after that. All we have to do is just put the screen on the bottom. And uh, we'll need to install the handle after that as well. So you have to just squish it again to get in. It's a little bit tricky, but if you squish from the back and the front side towards each other, towards the inside, it goes in. Okay, I like that. And we need to install the uh, little handle with one screw only. And all we have left is the bottom bracket with four screws and we'll be ready. Okay, getting the last piece, that frame that holds everything there really good. You need to make sure you get it right the way it was because sometimes it might be uh, uh, confusing because it's a square thing so it might go in different holes and get this one tight as well. Okay guys, getting the last of it, let's test it now, see how that thing works. Okay, close is great. Okay, let's see if it opens, opens amazing. So that's it guys. So thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe. Again, please check out our main channel. Thank you for all the support, all the subscribers. And we also have amazing car shirts, car shirt store in the description below. Thank you guys.